A lawsuit has been filed against Luis Louis Ruelas and private investigator Bo Deedle for allegedly breaking into computers to harassment and abuse Vanessa Riser, the former fiancé of the reality TV star Real Housewives of New Jersey. Ruelas, 48, and Deedle, 73, who were prominently linked during 2023's Real Housewives of New Jersey season 13, are being sued, along with a group of attorneys, according to court documents obtained by page 6. The lawsuits allege that the two illegally accessed sensitive information in their system in order to gather information about one of the Bravo Liberty's past lovers, who is not named in the suit. In their lawsuit, the lawyers, among whom is plaintiff Kevin Johnson, who verified to the Daily Beast that the person in question was Riser, claimed that Ruelas, Deedle, and their legal representatives acted with criminal, reckless, malicious. Fraudulent intent devised to defraud the plaintiffs and conceal their own misdeeds pertaining to their roles as attorney-client private investigators, hiring detectives to obtain personal information about her unlawfully. According to the lawsuit, the lawyers suing Ruelas, Deedle, and their purported allies proceed to charge the group of utilizing subterfuge, dissemination, and other fraudulent pretext to carry out what they refer to as a campaign of alleged harassment and abuse against Ruelas X. The lawsuit, which was submitted on Monday, states that, they, took, files, both private and professional in mass from those computers illegally accessed by the same. Ruelas, who is married to Teresa Giudice, the original, Real Housewives of New Jersey, and Didal, along with their attorneys, are charged with breaking the Federal Wiretap Act, the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, and the New Jersey Wiretapping and Electronic Surveillance Control Act. Click here for more Page 6 Reality TV developments. Damages are being sued for. After Plaintiff Johnson testified on Riser's behalf, her request for a permanent restraining order against Ruelas was rejected in October 2023. A source with inside knowledge of the issue told Page 6, the plaintiff previously testified under oath in court regarding his own conduct in this matter and was found to be not credible. The insider goes on, the court also found that the plaintiff had a bizarre obsession with the Real Housewives of New Jersey. It's obvious that this is a continuation of that fixation. Previously, the court determined that Luis Ruelas and Bo Deedle had committed no crimes. This is completely pointless and will be rejected by a judge in the end. Bo is eager to see the proof that this confused person has to back up any of his claims, according to a source close to Deedle. Although you have a better chance of citing the Tooth Fairy, none of them exist. John Fuda, the husband of cast member Rachel Fuda, accused Ruelas of hiring Deedle to investigate his background as part of an alleged smear campaign to make the Fudas and other enemies of Judice, such as Margaret Josephs and their estranged sister-in-law Melissa Gorga, look bad during the New Jersey Season 13 reunion. Ruelas has consistently boasted about his intimate friendship with the retired NYPD officer and his knowledge of specific cast members, but he has denied leading any investigation of this kind. Deedle has further denied any involvement, telling his ex, formerly Twitter, followers in May 2023 that Ruelas did not hire him to look into the Real Housewives of New Jersey cast. In his letter at the time, he stated, I'm glad the truth finally came out, Bo Deedle & Associates is a professional investigation firm that has been in business for over 38 years. Luis Ruelas never employed us to look into any of the real housewives of New Jersey. Deedle said he was offended by Ruelas' allegation that he was involved in the New Jersey scandal in a different statement to page 6. He went on, we have never ever conducted any kind of investigation against any of the cast members of Real Housewives of New Jersey, and I take great offense when someone uses my name. It's a private inquiry because all of my investigations are secret and confidential. If we had done something improper, I would not have been in business for 38 years. Regarding Riser, Ruelas has already been involved in legal issues with her. When their two-year relationship ended in 2020, the therapist filed a lawsuit against him, saying he would get angry if they did not have enough sex, as page 6 exclusively revealed in April 2021. Ultimately, the case was resolved out of court for an amount that was not disclosed. Ruelas was also accused of having an insatiable hunger for sex by Paula Sanchez, another ex fiance A source claimed at the time that Sanchez, the businessman's partner from 2011 to 2018, felt pressured to have many sex sessions with Ruelas every day. 
The insider claimed that he was the reason for 90% of their arguments as they weren't having enough sex. There was a complaint if they had sex like four times in one day. During the season 13 reunion of Real Housewives of New Jersey, Ruelas addressed the accusations of being sex-obsessed by admitting to host Andy Cohen, I can't have sex four times a day. Regarding the allegations made by his ex-girlfriends, a representative for Ruelas previously told Page Six, these people need to get a life and move on. It's time for them to follow suit as he has. After dating for slightly over a year, Teresa, 51, and Ruelas got engaged in Greece in October 2021. Soon after, the couple and their six combined kids settled into a $3.35 million house in Montville, New Jersey. Teresa, whose ex-husband Joe, 51, has children Gia, 23, Gabriella, 19, Mylania, 18, and Adriana, 14, married in a lavish Garden State ceremony in August 2022. The wedding was seen on camera for a Bravo wedding special.